and welcome to this week's edition of Marketing in the Matrix. My name is Darcy and I'm the media specialist here. Today we're going to be covering how to measure ROI in Google Analytics. So the first thing you might want to do is look at the traffic that's coming to your website. Are you getting organic traffic, which is the traffic that comes from Google, Bing, or the Yahoo search engines? Are you getting direct traffic, which means that somebody is specifically typing in your URL? Are you getting referral traffic, which also is traffic that comes from somebody else's website? So for instance, if somebody is on msnbc.com and they click on a link that they see to your website, that is referral traffic. Another type of traffic is paid search traffic. So you could be putting out a paid advertisement and people are clicking to get to your site. So those are the four different traffic types that you can look for um, in Google Analytics. The second type of metric that you'd like to look at is keywords. So you can actually see what types of search keywords people are finding you through in the search engines. So for instance, in Google, if you type in chiropractor and somebody sees your website, that means that people are finding your website for the term chiropractor. So there will be a list that Google Analytics will actually give you that says what you're showing up for and how many clicks people have um, done to get to your website. So the third thing that you may want to look at is landing pages. There's actually a section of Google Analytics that'll show you the types of places that people are showing up at. So people can be showing up to your About Us section, your car accident injury page, or your home page. And that's, that's really important information to know where people are coming from and what people are looking for so that you can also optimize those pages. Another important metric to view is visits. You want to look at the average visits per person. If many people are going through your site um, throughout all of your pages, it means that they're interested in the content that you're having and it means that they're finding what they need. So it means that your website is providing the information that people need to find. Another important metric is the average visit duration. Um, there's a metric called a bounce rate, and you want to get that bounce rate as low as possible. A bounce rate is when somebody goes on your site and immediately bounces off without doing anything. You want to get that site duration to get as high as possible, or at least in the two to three minute range. So it means that people are collecting the information that they need in order to make a possible buying decision. This has been a great edition of Marketing in the Matrix. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 1-800-IMATRIX or visit us on the web at imatrix.com. Have a great week!